Hi everyone. So today topic is that how to create a new payment process for request. So let me discuss periodically. Yeah. So what are the prerequisites are required in order to create a new PPR template? PPR stands for payment process request. Okay. So let's get into application. Go to payments. Go to payment task. And go to action. Click on create. To create new, say weekly weekly payments. Sundays. Type is that you can keep as reality regarding blank. Description same. And the selection criteria. So payment. See here, you can see selection criteria itself. You can understand. So what are the attributes are there under the, the specific selection criteria? So pay groups, currencies, business units, and legal entities, sources. So if you are maintaining any specific category or pay groups or any of these attributes that we can specifically mention here. And also if you want to use this particular template, any specific payment method, that is also possible by selecting the payment method here. So now I'm going to give here, since mine is set weekly payments to the suppliers, group by seven days, right, two dates. So I've given seven and uh, payment and processing option. Here I can see, so certain attributes are there, payment attributes and uh, processing option and validation, failure, handling and approvals. So as I mentioned, what are the prerequisites are required? disbursement bank account which bank you are going to release the payments to the suppliers and the payment document numbers associated with the respective bank account and the payment process profile which payment process profile you are going to use to publish in the certain attributes while define the templates here you can see those three attributes are important so we are going to providing bofa account bank of america and here payment document is check i'm going to use the check and uh, payment process profile is standard check it is only if we define things so this can be selected under the payment attributes and also if you want to manage any other attributes here you can select based on the requirement and uh, processing options how we are going to release the payments right so if you want to maintaining credit memos up to zero values, then we can enable this one. Or if not required, we can keep it as a blank and review proposed payments. So in this stage, the PPR batch will go and call out all the available installments and the payments. I meant to say invoices, payable invoices, right? And if you want to review those installments after proposed payments, so group the all the things, then we can go and review those payments here right so select this as well as and also if you want to generate the payment file after completion of the process if you want to create a payment file so you can select this one and uh, validation failure handling how we are going to have a validating the failures document based on the document let's say example visit only documents with error so i don't want to uh, error out all the things right which other things got error, those things only can stop it. Otherwise, move on. Mm -hmm. If you are using any approvals, yes, you can use this approval or you can keep it as blank. So since I have put all the required information here, yeah, let me save this template. Yes, save and close. Saved. Just 
cross verify either our no template got saved or not in the application yes it got saved and the status status we can see as active is supposed to be always active if it is inactive then we can't use this templates now we will quickly try to create one batch payment and let's see how many invoices will be selected on this one weekly payments template is that weekly payments select see automatically the system will populate the certain attributes based on the template redefined right so here day through date 816 selection criteria we have done and the payment and processing option you can see all of the things got populated here let submit the record the main is payment request sorry not this one Yeah. So weekly search for that. Creation date is today's date. Search. Yeah, here you can see that weekly payment and the stage stage is that installment selection and uh, status called as pending instrument selections let's refresh it will take a while to select the invoices It's taking some while to selecting all the eligible invoices. Yeah, now you can see under installment tab, you can see selected and rejected. So 381 invoices got selected over here. Otherwise, in other words, I can say installments, invoice installments, right? Just click on refreshment. Just refresh. Yes, here you can see pending review instruments, right? So this is what we have given over there, the template. While different template, we have uh, enabled the checkbox, right? Review instruments. That's where the system is holding you to like you know, review this manually. If you want to review anything here, so that we can review and move forward. Here you can see if you want to review them, under the action tab, you can see error mark. Just go and click on. We can review all the installments, the respective suppliers. Yeah. See here. So you do have the controlling here. If you want to delete any specific installment, which is not required, that can be also possible. And if you want to add any additional installments, which is not selected here, that also possible to add here you can go and click on add installment you can add a number of 
installment as well as. Let's say example, I don't want to make this payment for this supply, uh, specific supplier and we can go ahead and delete it from the or batch payment. Yes, we can delete it. So this can be taken care by the business users while they're processing. It got deleted, right? So similarly, if you want any add any new installments, that also possible. And let's say example other thing, if you want to modify any value here, let's say example, I don't want to make the full invoice amount here, installment amount, then we can reduce the amount by providing the, the value. Let's say example, I want to make only payment $4,000 instead of full amount. Yes, automatically it will be picked up. So after we review all the installments here, once you feel everything is looks fine, then you can go and submit it. So now next stage is that calculating withholding and interest. This is eligible. Here you notice one thing under installments. Previously it was showing as a 380. Now it is 379 because we deleted one invoice. Installments selected. These two stage uh, components are most important stage and status. We need to understand what stages it is acting as status installment selected. Submitted. Installment selection and submitted. Assignment complete. Just notice that how the status are getting changing here. See, document validation and the documents validated. See here, after we enter into this particular stage, there are around 348 invoices or installments got rejected due to some various reasons, because maybe there could be possibility where invoices are not validated and incomplete invoices. There are a lot of other variances also there, right? So if you want to review them, we can go and click on uh, rejected tab. Let's see that what are the reasons it got rejected. See here, the combination business unit payment method currency is not right. See here, I can see payment process profile. So what are the payment process profile we selected for this template that is not supporting to the this particular payments. That's where it is not selecting this installment, right? So click on done. That's okay, fine, no problem. So we do have around 31 invoices got selected for next step. So again, it is given action for you to review it. Pending proposed payment review. Yes, just go and click on action button. See, these are the payments. Still, if you want to remove any once any specific payment which is not required, that is also possible. Just select the particular one and go and click on here, delete it, demo. It is asking what is this? Yes, you can say yes. Yes, it is possible. Just I'm giving the example. What are the flexibilities are there in this process? Right? That's what I'm giving you. The real time, this is possible. So now you can see. So total value, how much you're paying. Yeah. And save. Resume payment process. So previously it was showing you 31, now it is showing us 29. So click on 29, sorry, refresh. Waiting for payment while processing. Yes, now we can see payment number got generated. So here you can go and check the 
action button. See here, if it is there, the printer, this is, a, this is test instance, so that we don't have any uh, printer. So in the real time, we can go and have, you can go and connect to the, your printer to print the checks. So here you can observe three tabs are there. One is action, sub so format and cancel. If you don't click this here, at this stage, if you want to terminate this entire process request, right? That is also possible. If you want to go ahead and terminate, yes, we can go ahead or we can go ahead and click on format. So this number is okay, fine. The send so that we can't do anything. Just cancel it since that is a number got generated. And you can see here, this is same. Right, print. So now it will go for the print. Here you can see status created and ready for printing. If you go and click on action tab, just cancel it. So you can see the payment document number here. Refresh. Here you can see submit for printing. Wait for some time to get it. Let's say, go ahead and let's see what it is showing. It will take a while actually. Yeah, you can see here. So what are the payments are getting generated? Payment, if you go and click on here, you can see the payment information. See, this is the payment reference number, right? This is how we can create batch payments by using our templates. See here, we can see one more thing, status submitted for printing, right? If you go and click on here, we will see all the information in the PDF copy, what has been printed. See here, this is the check. If it is real time, then automatically this check will be printing in the that's under the check leaf. So this is the payments got created, a check format, right? So this is how you can see the payment information. Click on done. Sorry, I wrongly mentioned that. Cancel. Click on done. And here also just refresh. Yeah. So this is how we can do payment batch. See here, still just taking the some time since it is showing as a like you know, still is later and up ready for payment, right? It will take a while to complete it. Okay, so this is how you can create a batch payments by using our templates. Thank you.